and welcome back to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the 49th episode of Any Attempts to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and this week's topic is the different types of DM. In my experience, I've met about five different kinds of DM. Uh, they are the Storyteller, uh, the Power Tripper, the Dark Souls Adventurer, the sleazebag, and the good time goofball. First, the storyteller. Uh, they're my personal favorite. Uh, they care less about mechanics and rules and more about um, just telling a good story that everyone can get in on. And everyone can. St everyone's the star of the story. They work in your backstory. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I'm a writer. I like DMs who are writers. Eh, so sue me. The power tripper. Everybody's least favorite. Uh, power corrupts, and uh, if the DM is God, then this one has let it go to their head. Uh, they tend to make these petty rulings that kind of just are there to fuck with you. And uh, they deliberately look for ways to break or kill your character. Uh, for example, in one of my old groups, there was a guy known as Proxy Paul, who I never DM'd under, who I never played under, uh, but he was well known for doing stuff like, uh, this was in 3-5 Pathfinder. Uh, he was well known for doing stuff like uh, you took you in a monk with a vow of poverty, which meant you couldn't have any possessions, you could take things with you. Um, and then he uh, put a cursed stone, cursed gem in front of you, and deliberately, and you had to make a will save not to pick it up. And he would deliberately make the DC so high that you couldn't possibly have made it. And then tell you that you lost your vow, vow of poverty and all the bonuses that come with because you took possession of this valuable cursed gemstone that he forced you to take possession of. Yeah, stuff like that. He was called Proxy Paul because of... Uh, a habit he had with magic uh when playing magic the gathering he would uh print out the cards he would always buy them but he would also print out you know paper ones and those were the ones he would use to play in actual games and tournaments uh but he always possessed the actual card so proxy cards i guess proxy paul three the dark souls adventurer uh they tend to go for pre-made campaigns uh and while they aren't quite a rules lawyer or a power tripper they don't hold back you die, then you're dead, uh, and it's probably because of something you did. You weren't in, in, you you could have made it, probably, but you didn't. Uh, they're not looking to keep you alive, but they're also not looking to kill you either. They're pretty. They tend to be pretty, you know, sort of as a person and as a DM, lawful neutral, true neutral kind of person. Like the game Dark Souls, they're not here to make sure you survive. They got a story to tell, and if you die in the process, then that that's you. That's on you. The sleaze bag. Another of my personal experiences, and everyone's least favorite. If you're playing Pathfinder, this guy has the uh, Book of Erotic Fantasy. And it's well thumbed through. And possibly a little sticky. Uh, there's just, in his there's, in his campaigns, there's always an unnecessary amount of succubi, lusty wenches, buxom women, etc. Uh, and I can't wait for you to take advantage of them with all that implies in it, taking advantage. If you don't, he might force you to. Uh... And that, obviously, nobody wants. The last one, the uh, good time goofball. These, this uh, DM is usually like the secondary or backup DM for your group. Uh, when the main DM can't make it, when the when the, whatever your main DMs can't run or whatever, they've got this, you know, this homebrew open world campaign where everybody starts off high level. You've got a couple of quest hooks, or you could just wander off into the desert and hope something happens. And it's sort of all semi improv uh, it's just there, you know, to watch you go, he's just there for you to go wild and have a good time. It's a very open world, it's very, I mean, you could take this quest, or you, you could save the people, you could just wander off in the opposite direction. It's whatever your party really wants to do, you're just there to have fun, and it's usually a pretty joke, uh, in the backstory. Like, there's all kinds of, there's usually, like, 500 different puns, and references, and other goofball things, and it's like, you could fight the Tarrasque, but we're gonna, uh, you know... You're trying to, you know, you're trying to go on vacation, or like the meme game, for instance. Uh, that's a good example of the, the goofball style. And you know, whatever happens, that's that's the story. They're not necessarily, they don't really have a storyline for you to follow. But you know, whatever you're doing, yep, there you go. It's, it's your story, kind of like a choose your own adventure, except that does not all apply to D and D because everything's going to choose your own adventure unless you've got a real ready DM, which is also, which is I guess a sub variation of a, the storyteller or the uh, a storyteller if they're bad at it, or the power tripper. 
you enjoyed this video, check out more content in the links in the description below for the Dungeon Bad Decisions Discord server, and my blog where I post quotes, anecdotes, and photos from the tabletop games I play in at the thedungeonofbeddecisions.tumblr.com. And as for my Patreon, special thanks again to Crunchy Chompy for being a Game Master's Nightmare, and to Paul, John, and Tark for being Average Adventurers. Uh, click here to check out the rest of the series, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!